energy drinks and sex. When it comes to dating and relationships, everyone wants to be the perfect partner. From face value. There is nothing wrong with a person wanting to be able to satisfy their partner. Financially, emotionally, and even sexually. When it comes to sexual activities, most people are the average type. This means that they do not have that much energy to have all night sex. This is okay because generally satisfaction is not measured by how much stamina a partner has, but rather on how much they understand their partner's needs and are able to arouse them. However, the need to satisfy the opposite sex has led many people to try out many formulas for boosting personal energy. Some of these include physical exercises, use of sex-enhancing drugs and medication, and the increased use of energy drinks. Energy drinks, in particular, are the most commonly used stamina-enhancing formulas. This is because not only are they readily available, but they are also easily accommodated in a person's regular routine. Unhealthy ingredients. Energy drinks contain excessive amounts of caffeine and added sugar as the main source of extra energy. Most drinks also contain other substances such as guarana, tarine, and ginseng. This makes energy drinks appear naturally appealing. Unknown to many, is a fact that caffeine and excess sugars possess serious potential health risks with prolonged use of these extra substances. Thus, the question to consumers should be, are energy drinks really worth it? The use of energy drinks to boost stamina is fine in moderation. However, doctors warn that excessive consumption of energy drinks can result in health issues much worse than the low libido problem. Problems that include loss of teeth, weight gain, miscarriages, abnormal heart rhythms, insomnia, increased blood pressure, and nervousness. Alternatives to energy boosters. Doctors recommend one energy drink per day for the average adult. This should be sufficient as long as the consumer is mindful of their diet. Doctors have also suggested several options of boosting energy. Instead of over-reliance on energy drinks. Regular exercise is a good and a natural way of increasing your body's energy requirements. Going dancing, or walking for around 20 minutes per day. Or just doing some menial work will help increase your energy levels. A healthy diet rich in vegetables and fruits also helps to improve your energy supply. Increasing water intake also boosts your energy levels. Because it prevents dehydration that tires and weakens muscles. Also getting a good night's sleep helps because your muscles get to relax. And the body has adequate time to replace and repair worn out tissues. Before you take that extra can or bottle of your favorite energy drink, consider the risks. There's no denying that the rules of the dating game have changed radically over the past decade or so. Nowadays, both men and women like to experiment a little. Dating multiple partners at the same time. For years women had to put up with playing the side chick. While the man decided if he wanted Betty, Mary, or Barbara. Usually women had no choice but to sit back and take it on the chin. When men dated multiple partners, they were heroes amongst their buddies. If a woman did the same, she was branded as a slut. Today's dating game has somewhat equalized the sexes. Women have no problem telling men that they have other interested parties. The man also needs to win the woman over. This keeps men honest. Nothing like competition with other men to bring out the very best in potentials. Women should tread cautiously when deciding which man would make the ideal match. Each man is different and will offer something different. Women should be aware of what the man brings to the table in terms of personality. Kindness and honesty while always being aware of the sex trap. The sex trap is when you interpret sex as real love and fall for a feeling instead of a person. Too many people date based on what they feel rather than what's real. Every woman loves the idea of a committed man who sweeps her off her feet and lives with her happily ever after. However, this is no time for women to bury their heads in the sand. They should look for evidence of commitment from the men who court them. 
women should gauge the man's commitment to friends or families. If prospective suitors don't particularly care for their friends and family, those could be warning signs. A good sign of commitment is devotion to friends. That says a lot about character. Look at where they commit most of their time and energy. That could also be a good indicator of the future. Men typically return to their comfort zone after the romance stage wears off. Everything is kosher on both sides during the courting period. Neither party can be expected to maintain the animal magnetism of the dating period. Relationships always start off far more exciting and passionate at the beginning. When everything is fresh and interesting. Devotion to their craft or profession is also a significant sign. It shows you that your potential man has goals. And the energy to pursue those goals. Look for doers as opposed to talkers. Consider the dynamics of your dating life. Does he instinctively include you in his plans? Be observant of your communication during the dating phase. Read the signs. If he shows signs of holding back or any type of elusiveness. Those could also be indicators of something else. Generally, it takes some time to build trust. It usually comes after dating seriously for a while. However, awareness of mannerisms can give you a picture of what is to come down the road. Openness in dating usually leads to openness in relationships. Likewise, sneaky behavior also carries over. Even when hormones are raging out of control pay attention to the little details. Those can tell the real story. And again always be aware of not falling into the sex trap. Beware of the sex trap. Like, share, comment. Subscribe to Total Transformation Channel.